Okay, guys, I want to show you the rhyme pattern. Now, most poetry usually follows specific rhyme patterns. If it's a rhyming poem, obviously. Uh, when I say letters, I mean A, B, and C. So sometimes uh, poems are A, B, A, B. Sometimes they're A, B, B, A. I want to show you this poem's rhyme pattern. Okay, now the rhyme pattern always deals with the last word in each line. Okay, so let's just focus. I'm going to underline them for you. So let's just focus on these words. And when you do that, it starts, the rhyme pattern starts to appear. Okay, so the first line is always going to be A. So I'm going to put an A up here by that. I'm going to type in A, just like that. Okay, so we know the first line is A. So my seatbelt's buckled, I slouch down low. Now, if the next line the last word rhymes with low we know this is a but look low and bar don't rhyme so therefore this is not an a so this one we move down to guess what b so now we know that line is a b now let's look again okay does low let's look at the third line the last word is clack does low rhyme with clack? No. So it's not an A. Does bar rhyme with clack? No. So it's not a B. Therefore, this has to be, guess what? C. Okay, so now we have A, B, and C. Now, let's go to the next one. Does low rhyme with track? No. So we know this is not an A line. Does bar rhyme with track? No. So we know this is not a B line. Does clack rhyme with track? Yes. So now we know that this, let me get rid of that one, move it up a little higher. So now we know, sorry, 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 that this is also a C. Now let me put that other one up there again too. So these both rhyme, and since this is a C line, this is a C line. So, so far we've got A, B, C, C, what? Now look at this line. The last word is star. Well, does low rhyme with star? No, so this isn't an A. Does bar rhyme with star? Yes, it does. Therefore, the last line is B. So the rhyme pattern is A, B, C, C, B.